Welcome to another exciting episode of Information Nigeria's Trending News. Our evergreen media platform, keen on informing our esteemed audience on vital information, have thought it wise to bring to you some of the things you didn't know about the United States President-elect Joe Biden. Biden, a Democrat on Sunday, won the U.S. presidential election defeating incumbent President Donald Trump. Biden's victory comes after more than three days of uncertainty as election officials started through a surge of mail-in votes that delayed the processing of some ballots. Biden, 77 years old, crossed 270 electoral college votes with a win in Pennsylvania. The result makes Trump the first one-term president since 1992, while Biden will be the oldest president ever to serve. Joe Biden, born on November 20th, 1942, in the city of Scranton in Northeast Pennsylvania, moved to Delaware at age 10. As a youngster, Biden had a promising future as he was very much interested in U.S. politics. Although, he briefly worked as an attorney before delving into the field. In 1968, Biden bagged a law degree from Syracuse University College of Law, having the 76th position in his class of 85. He was called to the Delaware Bar in 1969 and he was first elected as the u.s junior senator in 1972 at the age of 29. shortly after he won his first senate race tragedy struck as he lost his first wife Nayla hunt an infant daughter naomi christina in a car accident biden sons Bill and Hunter respectively suffered a broken leg and a minor skull fracture, but doctors predicted they would recover fully. In 1975, he met his second wife, Jill Tracy Jacobs, on a blind date, and they got married two years later. The couple welcomed their daughter, Ashley Blazer, in 1981. Biden became the fifth youngest U.S. Senator in history, as well as Delaware's longest serving Senator. He ran for president in 1988, but he dropped out of the race, saying that his candidacy had been overrun by the exaggerated shadow of his past mistakes. This came after he admitted to plagiarizing a speech by the then leader of the British Labour Party, Neil Kinnock. Early in his career, Biden supported the Southern segregationists in opposing court-ordered school busing to racially integrate public schools. And, as chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee in 1991, he oversaw Clarence Thomas's Supreme Court confirmation hearings, and he was criticized for his handling of Anita Hill's testimony. Hill had brought allegations of sexual harassment against Thomas, and Biden failed to call additional witnesses who could have backed up her claims. Although, his 2008 presidential campaign never gained momentum, Democratic nominee Barack Obama selected him as his running mate, and Biden went on to serve two terms as the 47th Vice President of the United States. Obama referred to him as the best vice president America has ever had. The eight years he spent working in the White House, along with Obama, permitted him to stake claim to much of his legacy, including passage of Affordable Care Act, as well as the stimulus package and reforms enacted in response to the financial crisis. The passage of the Affordable Care Act and health care remains dear to him because it is an important topic which he often discusses in the context of his family personal issues. One of his signature policy goals, healthcare, he said in an early television ad 
is personal to him. In 2015, his son, Bill Biden, died of brain cancer at the age of 46. In 2017, at the close of his administration, Obama presented Biden with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Two years later, the 77-year-old began his campaign for U.S. President, and he is the 2020 Democratic presidential nominee. I take full responsibility. It's not my fault that he came here. It's China's fault. And you know what? It's not Joe's fault that he came here either. It's China's fault. They kept it from going into the rest of China for the most part, but they didn't keep it from coming out to the world, including Europe and ourselves. What I would say is I'm going to shut down the virus, not the country. It's his ineptitude that caused the, virus, caused the country to have to shut down in large part. Why businesses have gone under, why schools are closed, why so many people have lost their living, and why they're concerned. Those other concerns are real. That's why he should have been, instead of in a sand trap in his golf course, he should have been negotiating with Nancy Pelosi and the rest of the Democrats and Republicans about what to do about the acts they were passing for billions of dollars to make sure people had the capacity. I have not taken a penny from any foreign source ever in my life. We learned that this president paid 50 times the tax in China, has a secret bank account with China, does business in China, and in fact is talking about me taking money. I have not taken a single penny from any country whatsoever, ever, number one. Number two, this is a president I have released all of my tax returns, 22 years, go look at them, 22 years of my tax return. You have not released a single solitary year of your tax return. What are you hiding? Why are you unwilling? President Trump, your response. First of all, I called my accountants, underwrote it. I'm going to release them as soon as we can. I want to do it. And it'll show how successful, how great this company is. But much more importantly than that, people were saying $750. I asked them a week ago, I said, what did I pay? They said, sir, you prepaid tens of millions of dollars. I prepaid my tax. Tens over the last number of years. Tens of millions of dollars I prepaid. Nobody has done more for the black community than Donald Trump. And if you look, with the exception of Abraham Lincoln, possible exception, but the exception of Abraham Lincoln, nobody has done what I've done. I am the least racist person. I can't even see the audience because it's so dark, but I don't care who's in the audience. I'm the least racist person in this room.